This video covers how to use filters and saved searches in Tenable I.O. for vulnerability analysis. You can use filters and saved searches on the Vulnerabilities Workbench, the Assets Workbench, or when analyzing scan results. Let's start with the Vulnerabilities Workbench. You can view by plugin or by asset. Let's say I want to view all my assets that have exploitable vulnerabilities, which also have a higher critical rating. So I can click here on Advanced. I want exploit available is equal to true. Click add another filter. Severity is high or critical. Now it's important to look at the filter logic as well. This is set to match all by default. That implies a logical and. The other option is match any, which is a logical or. Since in this case I wish to see a cross section of assets that have both a higher critical severity and exploit available, I'll leave this at match all. Now before I even apply this, I know that I, this is a query that I use frequently. I don't want to have to search for and set these filters every time. So I can just automatically save it. Now it's applied, but if I log in and have no filters, all I just now can click on my saved and the filters automatically load and apply. Now since scan results and workbenches have uh, separate databases and different filter sets, the saved searches are also separate for those. So let's look at a scan result. I don't have any searches saved for scan results yet but you can also set them the same way here. So let's say I want to see all of my vulnerabilities that have been exploited by malware. Now I've applied it, but I haven't saved the search yet, but I can go back up here. The number one, it, it means that there is one filter set. So you can see two, three, et cetera. It just means the number of filters that are set. So I click on Save Search. Now this will be available to pull up anytime I analyze any scan result, but it won't be available on the Vulnerabilities Workbench. The Assets Workbench also has its own filters and save searches. Here, I want to look for any assets that have been tagged with the operating system contains Linux that I have not performed a Nessus vulnerability scan on. So I only see one that was detected by my Azure connector. And again, I can go ahead and save this search if I want. <laughs> 